Now there are other ways of doing this question, but I'm going to be using the multiplier method, which I think is the easiest method to use and the most versatile. So we are starting with a 5.6% increase in money because that's what compound interest is. And then we're moving to a 3.1% interest uh, or raise in money. So to use the multiplier method, you always start off with 100%. You do what it's saying, so if it's adding 5.6, we're going to add 5.6%. Obviously, if you take away, it's take away, which gives us 105.6%. And then what you do is you make that a multiplier by just dividing it by 100. Multiplier is just a posh way of saying decimal, 1.056. Could do the same with the 3.1%. So we start off with 100%. We're increasing by 3.1%, so we end up with 103.1%. Then we do 103.1%, divide it by 100, make it a decimal, 1.031. Now the simple thing with multipliers is you get the amount, which is 500, you times it by the first multiplier, then you times it by the second multiplier. And that's it. So I get my calculator, I type in 500 times 1.056 times 1.031, and it gives me the answer of 544.368. Now with money, obviously you need to round it, so it's 544 pounds and 37 pence. So what some of you might be thinking is, well, don't we need to add on the extra, add on the additional five hundred pounds each time that we work out five point six percent or three point one percent? This one here and this one here ensures that the answer we have is the total answer, including the five hundred pounds.